Here's five reasons why you should join the Space Force. What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel if you're returning, but if you're brand new, I go by Space Jam Tactical here on YouTube. And two years ago, I did a video of five reasons why you should join the Air Force. So currently, I'm enlisted in the United States Space Force. Um, and today was actually gonna be a video about why you should join the Space Force. I decided I'm gonna do this video on the five reasons why you should join the Air Force in 2021 because I spent the last nine years in the Air Force and I owe it to the Air Force to basically developing me as a person and giving me all the opportunities that I've had to this day. Uh, you know, I've spent nine years in the Air Force and then I transferred into the Space Force coming up on my third year in the Space Force. So it's uh, it's been quite a ride, but I figured I'd uh, make a list for you guys and um, try and help you guys in making that decision and possibly joining the Space Force or the Air Force or any other branch. Um, and I, you know, I can definitely speak to it. Um, the first reason being, reason number one, the Space Force is the newest branch of the United States military. Uh, the Space Force was established in December 2019, so we just celebrated its three-year birthday. Um, I was able to do a cool birthday ceremony, so a uh, military tradition, the youngest member helps the oldest member cut the cake, and here at US Indo Paycom was able to cut the cake with General Massilier. And um, it's just kind of funny. So working at a COCOM, um, there aren't a lot of junior enlisted. So me being 29 years old, I was actually the youngest available guardian to help cut the cake. So pretty cool. I um, got to celebrate that with um, other folks and other services. So it's a, a joint command. Another awesome opportunity about it being the newest service is that those members joining kind of have a way to shape this new service. Um, and it, you know, it's, it's always a cool discussion to inform and educate people when they're like oh like you're in the space force or you're in the military what branch or i'm in the space force and a lot of people don't really have the understanding or really comprehend what the space force does what our mission is um and that's the battle and the identity crisis that space force faces going forward but to be able to be one of the newest members and help shape our military culture or our service identity to learn the necessary skills to operate certain satellite systems or satellite constellations or weapon systems uh, is an awesome opportunity. That brings me to the second reason why to join the Space Force, and that is a top secret clearance. So those that join the Space Force um, that are going to start to operate on weapon systems and space systems are going to need a certain classification level, um, usually that being a top secret clearance. Uh, the reason being the Space Force is the newest branch, but it is also a very technical branch. So um, a lot of the jobs within the Space Force are going to require uh, more than a secret clearance. Um, this is important because, well, top secret clearance investigations and background checks can range from $3,000 to $15,000. And uh, even though that may not seem like a lot, um, it does benefit the individual in the long run, especially if they hope to get out of the military and use their um, knowledge or experience in getting a contracting job or a civilian job. Um, because these companies that are hiring normally have to launch a background investigation or need to require those that they're hiring to have a top secret clearance. Now, if you have an active top secret clearance that the military already paid for, or the Space Force already paid for, then that kind of puts you on a step above the competition in the hiring process. And some of these jobs, whether it's um, you know Raytheon or Harris or Boeing or Lockheed Martin, a lot of these jobs are starting at six-figure salaries. So you can get out as an E4 in the military and you know the next month you're working for one of these big companies you're utilizing everything that you've learned in the space force and you're making six figures sounds like a win-win to me and i think i was getting a little ahead of myself but yes i dipped into the third reason already and that is a marketable trade everything the space force teaches you can be utilized in getting out and getting a job on the outside with these companies that are looking to hire these guardians and um, people that are very knowledgeable in these space systems because in general the space career field is a growing sector you see it spacex is launching almost every month other countries are continuing to launch satellites into orbit 
and specifically the United States is pouring money into its space industry. What keeps that space industry running and successful are people that are knowledgeable in space systems. Reason number four is the opportunity for travel. So when I joined, I think the stigma of space operations or Air Force Space Command was that you were going to be working in Colorado. Broncos country, let's ride. Broncos country, let's ride. So, I mean, we had Buckley Air Force Base, Shriver Air Force Base, Pearson Air Force Base with Air Force Space Command, um, which is a big part of Space Force is that Space Force headquarters is in Colorado. You can't expect to go to Colorado. You will go to Colorado. You're going to Colorado. There's no doubt about it. But there are so many opportunities. Um, you know, I've been in the military for about 12 years, coming up on 12 years at least this coming August. And, you know, I first started out my career in Colorado working at Buckley Air Force Base. And then I went to Shriver Air Force Base, which is also in Colorado. And that's when I was like, bro, I'm not going to get out of Colorado. But then I was able to go to Cape Canaveral Air Force Station in Florida. You know, I spent a couple years in Florida. And then I actually deployed um, to the Middle East down in Al Dafra Air Base. So that took me out of my space operations job. And I helped with security forces as force protection which is another reason about the military is that, you know, you are still a military branch, so there is a possibility of deploying um, for the Space Force. I don't want people to think that you don't deploy in the Space Force at all. Of course, the deployment tempo is very low compared to other branches, such as the Army of an Air Force, um, because a lot of the jobs that we do and the weapon systems that we maintain or um, satellite constellations we operate on are operated in CONUS. Um, but that does not mean that we don't deploy Guardians out um, on deployments or different tours. Uh, we have offensive counter space, defensive counter space, which can actually have our operators out in theater doing whatever they need to do. We're not going to get too much into it because blah, 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 classification. And this is YouTube, all right? I'm not giving you any secrets. If you want the secrets, go ahead and see your Air Force recruiter and go ahead and join the Space Force. But yeah, again... You have many opportunities to travel, and if you're stuck in your hometown and you want to find a way out, possibly travel different parts of the country, and like I said, with the growing space industry, maybe you don't want to stay in the country. You could end up possibly in Germany. I'm currently stationed in Hawaii. I didn't expect that was going to be a thing, but here I am, you know, at the beaches, hiking. It's beautiful over here. Man. And this brings me to reason number five with all the different places that you can go is the different people that you get to meet. And I think this was also a reason that I had for my Air Force video of why to join the Air Force, but the Space Force essentially is kind of the same thing. We're grabbing people from different parts of the country and you get to meet people from, you know, the South, from the East, from the West, from the North, and it's just a big melting pot, you know? And these people, and you, you get start at basic training and then you end up going to your different units and your squadrons and your deltas, and you're making friends with people that you never would have met if you didn't join. And that's just the truth of it. And whether you're making friends or acquaintances, you're meeting new people. And I think it's an awesome opportunity to get to know different people, get to understand different lifestyles, different cultures. And at the end of the day, I think diversity is huge for this service. I mean, that's what we thrive on. And I know it might sound cliche, but it's true. You know, you have people looking at things through different lenses, whether it's, you know, where you're from or your culture, whether you're black, white, Asian, Hispanic, you know, transferring from the army, navy. Uh, you know, we have so many people looking at different things, and I think that is such a strength of this branch um, as we continue to move forward. And... Um, you know, with personally, with my experiences, you know, I met so many amazing people, so many cool people, some not so cool people, but mostly cool people. And I like to call them my friends. All right. And I hope that you guys have the same experience. So inclusion, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Those are um, just kind of top five reasons to join the Space Force that me personally uh, think it. it that me personally think are good reasons to join the Space Force. Um, you know, and I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please leave them in the comments below. And if you haven't already, subscribe to the channel. I'm getting back into it, getting you guys that Space Force information. 
and also, you know, some other videos here and there, some skits, some gear reviews. I bought the $700 Massive jacket that keeps it um, absolutely warm. Um, my last video did a review on that. So if you're going to go to Colorado, you're probably going to want some cold weather gear. Not sponsored. I'm not sponsored by anyone. I'm just the E6 with money, okay? Um, which is also another reason you should join. You get paid to do the job. And that's, that's pretty cool. Um, anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. And uh, as always, stay safe, keep grinding, and y'all take it easy.